The possibility of traveling through time has inspired many kinds for many years. The idea of breaking through the linear barrier of time and traveling to any point in history is incredibly fascinating. Though this possibility only exists in science fiction. Or does it? Scientific literature has repeatedly denied the possibility of time travel for many decades. However, there are people throughout the world who wholeheartedly insist that they have successfully traveled through time to various moments in history. Stories like this often cause an audience to be divided. Some people believe that these claims are true and that time travel is entirely possible. However, many other readers claim that the stories are made up of fantasies that were crafted by people who merely wanted attention or fame. In today's video, we would like to reveal a few cases of people who claim to have come from a completely different era in time. Before we begin, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Let's begin. Sergei Ponomarenko Back in 2006, a young man named Sergei Ponomarenko was seen traveling down the busy streets of Kiev, the capital city of Ukraine. This man was just 25 years old, though he looked considerably different than everyone else in the city who had been traveling around him. Interestingly, his clothes didn't match the current time at all. Rather, he looked as though he was wearing clothing that had been made many years ago. He looked as though he'd been dressed sometime in the Middle Ages, yet he was wandering around the metropolis streets as though he were just another passerby. The man's appearance only grew stranger when locals began to notice the odd camera he had been tightly holding near his chest. This camera looked to be a relic from a bygone era, yet it was fully functional and the man seemed to be clinging to it with the utmost security. As people passed him by and traveled down the busy city streets, Sergei looked around seemingly confused, disoriented, and without direction. It wasn't long before the young man caught the attention of a group of police officers. When they first noticed him, they thought he may have been playing a joke on them. The man approached the officers and asked for directions to an address, though this address had not existed for many years. The police grew suspicious and asked the man to show his identification card. To their surprise, he pulled his ID from his wallet and presented it to them. His ID had expired over 50 years ago. The ID explained that the man was named Sergei Ponomarenko and that he had been born in 1932. If this were correct, the man would have been about 74 years old. However, the youthful man was far from elderly. Police did the best they could to help him and they directed him to a mental facility. Believing he had somehow lost his identity, and was now impersonating an elderly man. He was taken in and evaluated by mental health professionals. But what happened next was very strange. Rather than reveal to doctors that this was simply an elaborate prank, Sergei insisted that he was telling the truth and that he was born in 1932, though he seemed unaware of how he had arrived in the busy city of Kiev. One of his doctors was an amateur photographer and immediately recognized the camera that Sergei had been using. The device, a Yashima Flex, was one of the oldest portable Japanese cameras ever created. These cameras were remarkably rare, and it seemed odd that Sergei would be walking around in public with such a collectible and valuable camera. As the doctors continued to question him, he insisted that he was born on June 16, 1932 in Kiev. He told doctors he was just 25 years old and had left his home early that morning to take photos in the city. Though as he exited his home, he noticed a strange object flying through the sky. He studied the object for a while and realized it was shaped like a bell. It hovered in the air for a moment. But Sergei quickly became disoriented 
and found himself in a place he was unfamiliar with. He recalled that the basic features of the area resembled his hometown, though it was much different than it had previously been. He explained that many of the shops and vehicles were unfamiliar to him, leading him to wander the city streets in a confused stupor. The doctors were unfazed by his claims and believed he had simply been suffering from delusions. To prove this, they took his camera and developed the film. After the photos were developed, experts confirmed that the images had been captured in 1958. To take things a step further, Sergei appeared in several of the photos wearing the same clothing he was found in when officers took him to the hospital. Many of the photos showed the streets of Kiev as they were some 50 years ago, though the mystery doesn't end there. As the doctors continued to scan the photos, they noticed something in the background of one of the images that appeared to be floating in the sky. To their surprise, it was none other than the bell-shaped object that Sergei had been telling them about. That evening, Sergei was taken to a holding room and locked inside while doctors worked to come up with a plan for his treatment. The room was sealed off and the windows had bars on the outside so that patients could not escape or leap from the windows. To escape a room like this would be theoretically impossible. However, the following morning, Sergei was gone. He didn't leave a shred of evidence behind aside from the photos that the doctors had developed on his behalf. He was never seen again. To take this case a step further, in the year 1960, a man named Sergei Ponomarenko was reported missing by family and friends. He was never found. Alfred Bielak in 1984, the film The Philadelphia Experiment was released in theaters. The action-packed film takes the audience into the turmoil of the Second World War. At the time, the American government was working on a top-secret project that would combine supernatural elements with real warfare tactics to distract enemy forces and leave them vulnerable to attack. To do this, the Navy developed a new type of technology that would keep their warships from being visible on radar. However, this endeavor led to the ship disappearing completely after a sudden flash of lightning. The ship was found a short time later. The passengers were severely traumatized, claiming to have had a supernatural experience. Some crew members were seriously injured after the incident, while other members of the crew were deemed clinically insane. Alfred Bielak watched the Philadelphia Experiment in the 1980s. He was seriously impressed by the film and took a deep interest in the topics that the film had covered. A short time later, fragmented portions of memories began to pop up in the elderly man's mind in a mysterious way. The memories felt more real than they ever had before. The eerie scenes in Alfred Bielek's mind continued to intensify, causing him to feel as though he was losing his mind. He sought help from a medical professional and explained that he was having flashbacks of a troublesome life, though he had never lived through these vivid and traumatizing experiences. As the memories began to piece themselves together, Alfred felt as though he had finally uncovered the truth. He believed he was Edward Cameron, a crew member from the Philadelphia Experiment, and that he had been reincarnated after the tragedy. Edward Cameron is said to have witnessed the supernatural series of events firsthand when he was a soldier. Shortly after the mysterious equipment on board the ship was activated, the crew began to panic. To escape the chaos, Edward decided to jump off the ship. Though, instead of ending up in the water, however, he found himself in a hospital in the year 2137. A little while later, the American woke up in the year 2749. Edward Cameron was allegedly sent by the government on countless other time-traveling adventures, 
before his soul reincarnated into the body of Alfred Belak. This story is wild, but Alfred claims that he's telling the truth and that all of these events truly happened. Paul Dinoch A Swiss man named Paul Dinoch fell into a serious coma in 1921. He remained in the coma for about a year, but when he awoke, he had a vast knowledge of the study of physics. He had never taken schooling for physics, nor had he worked in the field a day in his life. How is it that a seemingly normal man could fall into a coma for a year, then awaken a genius in his newfound field of expertise? Paul claims that when he fell into the coma, his soul was transported into the body of a man named Andrew Northam. Andrew was a physics teacher who lived in the year 3906. He lived a full life as Andrew Northam for a year and learned many events that will soon take place in world history. He says that the world will soon be plagued by overpopulation and famine, as well as climate change. He said that these ideas led many people to break away from the molds of society to form a new spiritual lifestyle. He added that large areas of the world will be destroyed by a future world war, and that the remaining inhabitants of the Earth would band together and unite. He concluded his statements by saying that humans will soon be visited by an extraterrestrial race that will help humans continue to survive and thrive. With every resident of the New World having a home and sufficient food, as well as access to endless knowledge. When Paul awoke from his coma and told his story, most of those around him felt as though he was either lying or that all of his claims were simply a dream. Regardless, Paul stuck to his word and found a small following of people who still believe his claims to this day. He passed away two years later in 1924. The Man from Taured The mystery of the man from Taured has been around since the 1950s. This man appeared in a Japanese airport and was described as a European-looking man who spoke several languages. He claimed to have been from a country known as Taured, and his identification documents confirmed this. Locals couldn't understand what the man was talking about, but he began to grow impatient and explain that Taured had existed for over 1,000 years. He pointed to his country on a map, but was shocked to learn that it was listed as Andorra. Japanese police believed the man was attempting to commit identity fraud, so they arrested him and locked him in a cell. They returned the following morning to continue their interview with him, but he had vanished as quickly as he had arrived. He was never seen again. Which of these stories do you find the most interesting? Do you believe that time travel is possible? Let us know what time you'd like to travel to if you had a time machine. But that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.